Leia is bringing up something that I think a lot of us experience every now and then, some of us, you know, quite often, which is, you know, Leia has a lot of things going on, you know, work, life, business, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, within each of those segments, there's other multiple projects. So feeling overwhelmed, uh, feeling like it's got a lot of fingers and a lot of pies, but none of them are, you know, all of them are half-baked or something like that. So um, when I get into that situation, uh, I'll just share what I do and, and you can see if it's help, helpful or if anybody here wants to share anything too. Like I, I open a blank document, which I can do right now just to show you. Like I open a blank document, doc.new, and I just start writing down you know, what I have to do. Let's say I have to do, you know, SEO. Um, I also have to do, you know, Facebook ads. I'm just writing, you know, pretending I'm doing, you know. I also have to do, you know, call the vet, whatever, whatever you know, like various things. And then um, what I do from there is I basically uh, rank it based on, you know, urgency. I think, I think when it comes to overwhelm, um, urgency is a good way to start because you want to at least make sure that the fires aren't burning your mind and heart. So let's say call the vet is pretty urgent. Like, yeah, SEO is important, obviously. If you rank it by importance, you know, important versus urgent, it's, it's tricky. So I'm just going to rank it by urgency. Oh, I'll call the vet. I got to call the vet first. Got to call the vet first. And the second thing I got to do now, it jogs memory. Now I also have to make sure I, you know, email um, brother about this weekend's plans or whatever, you know? And then, uh, and then, and then that way, and after I write a list, you know, I, I used to call this a slim list. Then I say, all right, what can I do today? You know, whoops, what did I just do? Today, and then I, I might do uh, uh, tomorrow, and I might do um, this week. So like, I, I'll have those categories. And then I'll say, call the vet, gotta do that today. You know, email bro about this plans, weekend's plans. Actually, I can do that tomorrow. SEO, I can, and, and if I, have, it's, if it's something like this, we're like SEO, that's so overwhelming. Like that's part of my problem. It's like, I get overwhelmed just looking at this. So what I should do is I should further clarify, what do I mean by SEO? That means review course resource to determine next steps, you know? And so I would then take this and go, you know what? I can do it this, this week sometime, this week is fine. And then Facebook ads, um, you know, let's say I have uh, next week or later, I can have a category that way. And I just put it in. Now I know this is uh, like the crudest to-do list you've ever seen, you know, like there's George, there's software for this, but it's okay. What we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do when I'm calming my mind is it's nice to have some empty space and not worry about putting stuff into a spreadsheet or a software yet. You know, it's like, let me just, at least let me get things out and then if I want to, I can put this into a to do this. But Leah, is, is something like this helpful? What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. You just actually jog my memory because I usually have like blank sheets of paper next to me and then there I'll write stuff down. But yeah, I like I like how you, you know, urgency is, you know, the key factor to determine what, what goes where. Yeah. And just that reminder of breaking things down into those smaller steps. That's right. Yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah. Right. And 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 let's say, let's say that you've got three urgent things for whatever reason these three are urgent that's all have to be done today then you can take the next level of prioritization and say all right these are all urgent things um what's the most important urgent thing that i feel that that i need to do so maybe uh maybe for whatever reason let's say facebook ads of course i would say that is the most important urgent thing right now <laughs> Then again, I feel overwhelmed. I mean, Facebook ads, my goodness, how, how do I even tackle that? You know, let's say I'm getting started on it for whatever, uh, that's, that's where my stage is. Then underneath it, I would put a bullet point and go, what can I do in 15 minutes? So 15 minutes, what I can do is watch um, 15 minutes of George's course <laughs> on Facebook ads. That I can do. Now I feel like I'm making some progress because 15 minutes, 
Okay. These are all urgent, right? These three are all urgent. So really 15 minutes is what I should spend on this urgent, important thing. I feel like I'm making some progress. Now you might say 15 minutes, George, that's not really realistic. I feel like 30 minutes is more realistic. Fine, good. Watch 15 minutes of this and then 30 minutes. I'm gonna watch 15 minutes of this. Um, 30 minutes, I'm gonna put it up here. Watch 15 minutes of that and uh, try 15, 15 minutes of implementation or coming up with questions. So, and then I move on to 30 minutes because if I say that this is important and urgent, I could spend all day on that. And then I will miss out on these other urgent things. So that's why it's good to constrain yourself to like 15 or 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna call the vet because that's gonna take you know 30 minutes to explain the situation with the cat and blah, blah, blah. And then this one, that will only take like 15 minutes, you know, something like that. So I like to put in the times because that caused me to say, oh, okay, I have essentially an hour and 15 minutes of work here. When do I have an hour and 15 minutes today? Because these are all urgent. I have to do these things today. Oh my God, I don't have an hour and 15 minutes today. So maybe, but I do need to call the vet and do the email today. I have only an hour today. I have 45 minutes today. So let me actually postpone <laughs> this one. Yes, I thought this was urgent, but given what time I have today, I'm going to postpone this till tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll carve out 30 minutes for this then. So instant to-do list without needing to buy any software. <laughs> you know? And to be honest, like if more, if more people did this, more things would probably get done in the world <laughs> and less stress instead of like a lot of people like get stressed out finding the perfect to-do list software. And yes, over time, once you are pretty good at doing something like this, then you'll probably end up having, well, I don't want it to just be so imprecise this week. I want to, I want to determine something to do on Tuesday versus Thursday versus next week. I want to do it, you know, on August, you know, second, instead of then a to-do list software comes into being to help you prioritize. But if anytime I'm overwhelmed, this is literally what I do. So, and then I might put this into my to-do list, but that's, that's secondary. Yeah. Hope that helps. Thanks, George. That's great. Yeah, yeah thank you. I just got to go do it. <laughs> just go, do, do this. Go ahead and do this. <laughs> Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, Gregory. Yes, go ahead, please. May, may I offer, Leah uh, and George, may I offer yes. a quick addition to that? Yes, please. Um, well, I love this. This is super helpful. Everything you laid out, George. And, and from another angle, what I find for myself Oftentimes when I'm feeling overwhelmed, which since becoming part of Master Heart is not infrequent, <laughs> there's there's such a wealth, you yes. know, you're you're so Speaking generous. The fire hose. You're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're so generous. There's so yeah. much. And I, I give have you a such, buffet and you can't yeah, eat it all. <laughs> I know. And and as it's been reflected back to me, I'm a I'm a glutton for nourishment. Your your, your so, eyes are bigger <laughs> than your knowledge stomach. Yes, yes, exactly, yes. exactly. So one of the things that I've felt found helpful in recent months when I'm feeling overwhelmed with the goodness that's available and, uh, is I find if I check in with myself and who inside is actually feeling overwhelmed, nine out of 10 times I find it's like little Gregory. It's like five-year-old Gregory yeah. who's all of a sudden like, just going, this is like what the big boys and girls do. I don't, I don't know how to do this right. and I can start to, so I find just taking time to check in with my younger self, take that one by the hand, put him on my lap, put my arm around and say, how you doing? What's, what's, tell me what's going on, yeah. you know, and just having a dialogue very gently to give that place a voice and recognize that I can still maintain contact with the place inside of me that is centered and conscious and wise and adult and, and has spaciousness and ease. And the, that place can have dialogue with the tender place that's feeling overwhelmed and bring reassurance and meet the young place with empathy and loving. And if I do that in my experience, there tends to be an integration and, and a relaxing into, ah, we can do this. Or even, you know, how about 
you don't have to do any of this. You can sit down on the couch and you can watch me while I implement this new strategy because that's not your job. That's my job. And anyhow, just some, something that I've, I have found helpful. That's a beautiful integration with you know, what we just talked about. This is a, you know, you're, you're talking about the, the emotional side, the mental side of it. So I appreciate that very much. Thanks.